Let's compare a video of Kim Kardashian of in 2013 to a video of her in 2008. First of all, the one in 2008. Hello, gorgeous. How was your flight? It was good. I slept pretty much the whole way. And let's compare it now to an interview in 2013 reality TV star of the year. She never seems to slow down, but we are happy to report that Kim Kardashian, Kardashian did slow down for just a little bit. She's joining us this morning in the studio. Good morning. How are you? I'm so the introductions are very different. In 2008, she was very different, very relaxed. She, The first thing she talks about is herself and how she slept on the flight. And if we just have a look at her posture, she's very relaxed. She slouched in the chair. She looks a little bit sleepy at the beginning of the interview, and she even refers to how she slept during her flight. On the early show, she's, later on we'll see she's at the edge of her seat, she's sitting upright, she has direct and unblinking eye contact with her interviewer. The first thing she talks about is the interviewer. She asks, how are you? Now let's compare the end of both of the interviews. Here's 2008. And I hope you have a good rest of the weekend. And we'll be seeing you on your show, Keeping Up the Kardashians on E! on Sundays at 10 p.m. Thanks, right. Doll! So if you just saw at the very end, she just says, Thanks, Doll, and she's getting ready with her bags and everything. She's ready to leave. She, d she breaks eye contact with her interviewer as if she's busy and needs to get somewhere else pretty quickly. Compare that to the, to the 2013 interview. It's great to have you with us this morning. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for sharing some bits of the book and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you. You too. Kim Kardashian this morning. She doesn't, thanks. she doesn't seem to break eye contact and she even wishes the interviewer back that she has a great holiday. She's very obliging and there's a lot more enthusiasm and engagement. We can also see a distinct difference in the vocal quality of Kim's voice from 2008 to 2013. In 2008, in this interview, her voice is often very croaky. Well, sometimes. I'm just, I'm a lot more shy than you'd probably think, so when people, you know, I'll sign the covers and stuff, but if they want, like, signatures inside, I don't really feel comfortable. So there's a lot of croakiness, and her voice kind of gets swallowed up in this croaky quality. It's, it's here again. Um, fashion is my life. I love the store. We are launching our website soon, um, which I think will be really time-consuming. It already has been the whole process. She sounds almost lethargic with this croaky kind of quality in her voice. Look at how different it is in 2013. Her vocal, her voice has a lot is a lot more full-bodied and has a lot more vocal direction. Right up. And you know, when Tria Beauty came to me with this new Tria laser. I was like, I laser hair removal all the time anyway, but I find that it's really hard, especially being on the road. You kind of have to stick to, like, every six weeks, do the treatment. So when there was an at-home treatment system that is FDA cleared, the only one, I thought, like, this is just the perfect fit because it's so natural. I yeah. would use it anyway, endorsing it or not. She seems a lot more confident in the 2013 interview, and this comes across in her eye contact. The 2013 interview is approximately 5 minutes and 4 seconds long. I compared this to 5 minutes and 4 seconds of the 2008 interview. In 2008, in a segment of 5 minutes and 4 seconds, she broke eye contact for approximately 86 seconds. In 2013, she only broke eye contact for approximately 16 seconds. When Kim does break eye contact, she has a habit of saying, um... She's trying, it seems like she's trying to buy herself time to calculate what she's going to say to the question she's been asked. Here are a few examples of her doing it in 2008. I, um, I don't really have a preference, and I think that people think that I do, but I really don't. I, I've, um... There it is. Here it is again. We are launching our website soon. Um... Okay, for a third time. Um, fashion is my life. And here she does it in the 2013 interview. Up ...and who we were before we had a show. And, um, 
So she has broken eye contact when she says, um. Who it is again in 2013? Comes along with the territory, but, um. And again, we can see it here in 2013. I've never even met before. Um, I. Obviously, with her increased confidence, in 2008, she broke eye contact and said, um, about 13 times. In 2013, with her increased confidence, she only does this six times, but it seems to be a habit that sh that's ongoing for her. Compare the substantial change in her communication style in 2008 compared to 2013 when she talks about being Armenian and dealing with unwanted bodily hair. Here's 2008. I, and I am hooked. I'm like... So I'm, I'm a hairy Armenian, that. okay? I'm a, I'm a hairy Armenian. So. Here's 2013. Waxed, and, you know, Courtney and I would wax each other's, like, eyebrows, and, I mean, we're Armenian, so. <laughs> <laughs> Hair is definitely something that you want to get rid of. So she's obviously a lot more composed in the 2013 interview. But in 2008, she generally allows herself to be more free and expressive with her body language and with her facial expressions. She's obviously younger here and she's a lot more carefree. Here are three examples. In 1998. <laughs> so she just, she just rolls her head back in, in laughter. That's something we hardly see these days. Here again, there's something interesting. Except for my boyfriend now, honey. <sighs> None of you will get him. Again, she's very expressive and playful. Here's another example. My friends all have to be gorgeous or I cannot hang out with them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Again, she just rolls her hair back, head back very carefree. So in the 2013 interview, she's a lot more composed, calm and controlled. She's more aware of which parts of the body her camera, uh, the camera will zoom into, which is usually her face and her upper body. Her feet and legs get less attention from the camera. But this is exactly where Kim is perhaps the most expressive. For example, in this video. Take a look at her legs and feet bouncing around, even though her upper body is very calm. LopezTonight.com, we promise to bring you more Kardashian than anyone else anywhere. So Kim and Courtney have agreed to answer some Twitter questions that you have sent us. So let's get to the first one. The so her feet are bouncing up and down even though her upper body is calm. Look at it again over here where her feet are bouncing up really rapidly now. I know, will you design yeah, some? Yeah, we, we um, have a new line coming out. And have a look at it again when she talks about meeting one of her favorite idol, right, um, idols, Jennifer Lopez. Her feet are going crazy at this point. Oh. Follow J-Lo, at J-Lo. Yes. I love her. So Kim Kardashian <laughs> and Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> and she, it's not as clear in this interview, but have a look at her left leg, which is crossed over her right leg, and, the, and she's circling it around, even though her upper body is very calm. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. Good to have you with us. You, you are. are. I hope you saw it. Thanks for